All right, ready for shot one. Safety's off. Pen is in. Loaded. We take the avalanche problem really seriously here in Colorado because they can be really dangerous. And so these, these avalanches are traveling incredibly fast and the amount of force that they can apply on an object is, is really tremendous. CDOT's had five employees killed by avalanches in our history. So we're, we're really just all about keeping people safe. We're, we're working hard to make it happen and it's a huge operation. You know, if you've been up in the mountains, you see weather change on a dime for mitigation of avalanches and you know, maintaining the roads. Uh, it's critical to know which areas are getting impacted above others. I'm always looking at surface station maps to see what's actually happening. And then I combine all that and come up with either a forecast or information uh, about what's happening now. If you have uh, really good solid snow forecasts and you can get out ahead of them, it's going to save a lot of pain as far as, you know, if snow hits the road and you've got to clear it, but also if there's, you know, a circumstance where someone gets hit by the avalanche itself. So it really all starts with that, with that avalanche forecast, determining the strength of the snowpack and then what the weather's going to do in the next few days and making a plan around that. And even when these roads are closed to the public, we still are operating, you know, trying to get the snow cleared, trying to get them safe, trying to get these roads open typical avalanche control morning, you know, we'll be in here at two or three in the morning potentially and get our tools and our equipment together, make a plan, get the crew, get our safety gear on and then get out in the field and get to work. We're, we're placing large explosive charges at the toe of an avalanche slope. We'll use a helicopter when we need to, and we'll also deploy by hand from skis or snowshoes. Getting an opportunity to ski uh, in the backcountry as part of my job is really, is pretty awesome. So today we're uh, on the east side of Independence Pass. The road has been closed, and there's a series of avalanche paths off to my right here. And we're spending the day putting explosives into these paths to try to knock snow down uh, below the road so that it's safe for crews to go up and clear the road and get it ready for the traveling public. So we have a really big toolbox and we'll use all those tools as needed uh, to get the job done. Traffic operations is uh, really critical. And if that forecast is correct and it's framed in the right way for the use case, then I'm hoping that it makes you know, their job easier. If you give them that and it, it verifies and they reacted correctly, they probably saved a life. <laughs>